Hi guys, they're just about to close, but I was able to manage to get here into Cast and Murder. So I am now going to scan their QR code, which I, I will show you. So yeah, it is 7.08 and they're getting ready to close, so I just need to get food in me. Now there's not a ton of options, but there are options. Okay, so they're pretty much fully open now. I don't think the tables are as close together as they used to be, but the bar is, every seat is taken. Um, the, you're still ordering by QR code. They're not handing you a menu, but as I said, there are menus all over the place. I am trying their uh, uh, their signature alcoholic uh, lemonade is on tap. Okay, so I used to have a lot of luck getting to the free things here. Um, I can tell, tell you the beet salad is pr pretty darn good, the goat cheese. Um, I used to get chicken salad here, and they now said it's only over at the quick serve version that they've got, rather than being able to see something here, where the last time I was here, even though it wasn't on the menu, they still brought it in for me. So, your mileage may vary. Um, but what I'm getting is their burger, just with extra lettuce wrap, so no specialty buns, no, no particularly, you know, it is less accommodating than it used to be, let me start with that. But I'm gonna drink my lemonade. Uh, they said the fryer is not dedicated. So uh, they're checking on the potato salad. I can, can get a side salad though. So I'm getting a side salad with citrus vinaigrette. And we'll see how everything goes from there. I'm gonna try the lemonade. So, alcohol with lemonade. I think this is a regular lemonade. It's the very end of the day, and I, I don't know why I was getting focused service, so let me stir this for a second and see if this is where I think it was. It's just regular lemonade. You know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's just drink the lemonade. It's going to be a very quick service here, I can tell. That's unfortunate. Um, I mean, no, there's no, not going to be anything dessert-wise that I can have here. I don't... Well, actually, I take that back. I think they've got some uh, ice cream. I have an ice cream sandwich, which I can't do. They got a sampling of sweet cream, strawberry, and milk chocolate ice cream with cookie crumbles. I can get a cookie crumble, then have a brownie sundae. Um, yeah. So, so basically ice cream. This is a, a local owned company. They also have a regular restaurant, I believe, that gets raves. We'll see. We'll see. I used to adore this place. It used to be my go-to at the end. And I, I believe, remember, their corn grits were really good. Um, we'll see. I haven't tried the kids on yet, so we'll see how that is. And if I just take a knife and fork to the burger with ketchup and lettuce and stuff, it'll be fine. I am going to make an attempt to see if I can actually order a drink. There is a Maker's Mark special they're doing right now. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can grab that. It's really yummy. Uh, $12. It's a Maker's Mark. Uh, actually, since this is on the web... Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get back to it. It is... Maker's Mark $12 Future Cocktails. They have an old-fashioned Manhattan, an orange smash, and a Boulevardier. Boulevardier. Um, but it's got a Maker's Mark Sweet Vermouth and Bitters with Black Cherry. Is the Manhattan or Maker's Mark Black Cherry Orange Peel Simple Syrup and Bitters for the Old Fashioned. The Orange Smash has Maker's Mark Orange Slices Mint and Simple Syrup. And then the Bo Boulevardier, Boulevardier is Maker's Mark Campari Sweet Vermouth and Orange Peel. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. I think I'm going with the Manhattan. Okay, we have confirmed the potato salad is not gluten-free, but she's going to get me the grits. And that might be nice. It's kind of a warm thing because the salad will be nice, but I'm going to have a lettuce wrap on the, the burger. And, you know, I, I'm not celiac, so I probably could have gotten away with the fries. But when I do these dining reviews for you guys, I want to do it the right way. So if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to do this as a gluten, totally gluten-free diner. You know, I am not celiac. I will put that out there. So... I will unfortunately not be able to tell you if I truly do get cross-contaminated and not have the same dire reaction to me as it would have to someone who is truly a celiac. Um, but I do have reactions to gluten, so I, I will sometimes know when it happens. Um, but I do, uh, I do want to make sure that I am doing this as if it was anybody else because if I'm representing something gluten-free and I'm trying to show you how to eat gluten-free, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to do cross-contamination or partial cross-contamination. Um, 
if I go out and I have a meal like that, then I'm not gonna include that as part of the reviews I do with you because that's that's not fair to you guys. Okay, so the food's arrived. Um, I'm gonna start on the grits because on the, actually I'm gonna start on the salad because the, it's the beautiful tomatoes and greens. Uh, the picture of it is going to go in right here. Um, and I also ordered, uh, got the burger and the bread. Uh, like I said, the burger and the bread. So it's so, like, I'm waiting for the, good lord, yeah, I'm really tired. So the ketchup and mustard. So this is bacon on the grits. No. What I can tell you, these are, I'm sorry, these are really good. They're cheesy. And that bacon, it's like a bacon jam, so it's sweet and salty. Um, yeah, good flavor. Really good flavor. Mm -hmm. And the warmth of that is really nice right now. Um, so now we've got salad. So I'll probably end up eating last just because it's the cold item. Oh, it's a nice citrus vinegar. It's like an, a lemon orange combo. Nice basic greens. A lot of tomatoes. I just saw the picture. A lot, a lot, a lot of tomatoes. But very tasty. Okay. Well, there are not a wild number of options. I'm going to tell you the things I'm looking at right now are very good. Okay. So now we're going to do the burger. And it kind of comes disassembled. So I'm going to lay the tomatoes on the top. The pickles on the top. Let me put the mayo and mustard on first. So you know what? Got the bacon jam on it. So I'm gonna try it without anything else. And then we'll start adding more stuff. I probably will end up putting some more things in there, but we'll see how it goes. So they did give me a lot of leaf lettuce. Really, really big pieces, which is perfect. Well, not really, really, but you know, the size of the burger, so the right size to kind of make a burger sandwich. So let's give it a try. really good with it. You may not need the ketchup. Um, I am going to put some of the mayo and the mustard in there. I'm pretty sure the mustard's really going to like, counter the bacon the, the bacon jam, give it a little more like vinegariness and spiciness. Um, and a little, the, the mayo will give it a little more kind of look. The fattiness, the unctuousness. I'm just gonna use. I don't know if that's really the right word. I might a better word. That's kind of that, that flavor you get when fat is added. That just makes it feel richer, or taste better. That's the flavor I'm talking about. All right. So now we're gonna pick it back up. Now that we have redressed it, let's all that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Thank you. So. Mustard mayo on it. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. I'm sure it would be lovely to have a bun. Or a wrap. This is tasty. So. Been too much better now. Food is much better now. And, um, I'm going to enjoy this while it's still warm. Uh, my flight is in an hour and 20 minutes. So let me get this taken care of. And I'm still waiting on the Manhattan that I ordered. No, again. They say that the gluten is not taken out of it when it's distilled. If you see all that, you should all might want to drink that. But you should be, uh, uh, but supposedly you should be okay with uh, a Manhattan. It's a different drink. But so I've, I've actually pretty much finished my meal, um, but I just got my Manhattan, so we're gonna give it a try. I like it a little more on the sweet side. The cherries are sitting in the bottom rather than the skewer, but it's in a plastic cup because COVID. Um, the bitters are a little heavy. The orange flavor is nice. Not bad. Not bad. Not the best one I've ever had, but not bad. It's going to be very interesting to uh, drink it very quickly because. Eight o'clock. I've got about a half an hour before I really should be at my gate, which is just down the way that way. Um, 
for dessert options, like I said, they just have those ice creams. I don't know if they're gluten-free, I didn't ask. Um, I believe over at, uh, behind me at Jersey Mike's, where I ate the last time, I think they have a gluten-free cookie. Uh, maybe your only sweet option here. Um, or getting a Starbucks drink, if, if Starbucks is safe for you guys. Like a hot chocolate or something. a lot on this trip and I'm hoping these reviews have helped you guys. Um, like I said, the grits, that bowl of grits was $6 and the burger, let me pull it up and find out, 16 So it's a CNL cheeseburger, cheddar cheese, bacon jam, tomatoes, leaf lettuce and pickles. So they just did more leaf lettuce on it and I left a little bit of lettuce there because the two pieces were huge and thin off. Um, and the tomatoes. And I will tell you, you know, like normally when I would go out somewhere and uh, get a, a burger and they don't put it on the bun, you end up eating something that just doesn't feel substantial. You know, it's like the bun would have been in the burgers, like this little tiny thing on the inside. This was a substantial piece of meat. And two nice slices of cheddar cheese. Um, and that bacon jam, they put it, it's the same bacon jam that's actually on top of the cheese grits. Nice flavor to it. Now, obviously, this is not dairy free. I am not dairy free. I limit my dairy, but it's not gone. But yeah, tasty. Very tasty. Um, service is a little slow, but it is the very end of the day on a Sunday. You know, it's eight, almost 8 o'clock. They are kind of closed now, so you know, they're just doing the, whatever the close up stuff is. But you know, every time I get worried, and then every time I eat here, and I'm like, wow, that was really good. <laughs> so. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, if this has helped you make some decisions about where you want to eat if you're coming home from Orlando and want to figure out where you're having dinner, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and let me know that this content was helpful for you. Um, this is in the southwest terminal, by the way. I don't think they have anything on the other side. Um, but there are, like I said, three solid places to get something. So if you want to sit down and you're early enough, cask and larder here. Behind me is Jersey Mike's, which is over there, and Chipotle, you know, the chains over there. And all of them are really pretty good. You know, Chipotle is mostly gluten-free in terms of ingredients. Jersey Mike's, tell them it's an allergy. They wipe down the space. They change their gloves. They get the stuff out. They don't use the same dispenser for the mayo and stuff like that. It's really nice to see. And, and and it's not a show. It's like they're just, they're making the right safe choices and it, it makes me so happy. So, um, I'm gonna say goodbye. I wanna thank you all for coming along. And, um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?